Today we create two easy to make variations of wavy cutting boards. Enjoy! Sometimes a simple design is the most effective. That's why I show you two different variants of bent sawn cutting boards that are really easy to make but look quite fantastic. As always we begin by milling up some rough lumber, in my case black walnut. Then we are going to rip one of the life edges off and proceed to square the board using the taper saw. Next some cross cuts. Before we get into the various designs we first need to cut our raw cutting boards to length. And here is where we get into the different types of designs. Both are very similar in the sense that we need to cut a wavy pattern on the bend saw through the walnut board. For the first variant though we also tape a strip of contrasting wood, in my case European cherry, to the top of the walnut. Then we proceed to cut the aforementioned way through the wood on the band saw. Now for the second variant we will need thin strips of two types of contrasting wood, which we will later laminate into the wave. This time I'm choosing maple and bubinga rose wood. Then comes the glue up, which is rather uncomplicated. We simply take the contrasting wood strips and glue them in an alternating fashion into the wavy walnut. For the other version we will arrange the cherry and walnut to our liking. I thought that this wave was looking kind of thick. So I went with this variant. The other one would have looked cool too. Mm, yeah, pretty nice. Maybe I'll try that one out at a different time. And then we also proceed with the glue up. Back to design number two. We go over to the bend saw again and repeat the same lamination process on the shorter side of the board. This intersecting wave pattern will give the kitchen utensil a really thick look at the very end. Ooh, a lot of tension when clamping a wave with such steep curves. You gotta be careful not to break any of the smaller parts of the process. So be really careful here and take your time with the glue up. Once all the glue has cured, we can go over to the usual business. At first we flatten the cutting boards in whichever way you prefer, be it a drum sander, planer or joinder. For variant 2 I also decided to cut the shorter side in a slight curve, which I traced out using just a scrap piece of wood pushed against two objects. Then I freehand cut the curve roughly on my band saw. and refine the shape using my disc sander. And we enter the finish line. Just the usual cutting board stuff. Chamfering all edges, sanding up to a 320 grit and also water popping the surface. And last but not least, buttering that bitch up. And then we are done. <laughs> I think these turned out gorgeous and if you like what you have seen today why not make sure to subscribe to the channel for more regular woodworking content. Please leave your opinions down below what you think of these cutting boards and if you also are going to try to craft one of these or maybe both variants at that. And yeah if you enjoy what you have seen today also make sure to check out my shop for handcrafted products stemmerch.eu and I'm until the next video I wish you guys a flamble day. Ciao!